Hello guys, this is a tutorial to show you how to make a fan and skull button. For example, in Left 4 Dead, you can use this to call panic events, so like a horde of zombies. So first things first, open up your Steam and go to your hammer or your Left 4 Dead or theme tools. Once it's closed up, you click Hammer World Editor and then bring up Hammer. It may take a while to load, so be patient. So, as you can see, I'm going to now open a map I've pre-made before and and add a button to that map to show you how to do it. So, so I'm going to use one of Hammer's tutorials examples. So if I go to File, Open, and I've gone into your first Left 4 Dead level tutorial, I'm going to use their fifth complete one. So, if I go down into this row now, and so say if I wanted the button by here. As you can see, it's highlighted where I've clicked the wall. So, first of all, you just make a brick. You click the brick tool, and you just draw a button in. I'll make it quite big so it's quite seeable. So there you go. That will be our button. So I'm going to change the texture now to something quite seeable, like a normal brick texture. So there we have it. There is our button. So now you need to click on the button, Control T, and you'll have Funk underscore detail. I want to change this to Funk underscore button. This will give you a list of options once you click apply. And as you can see, it's a lot of stuff. So I'm going to name the button button one. So now that we've done that, click apply and cancel. So now that we've got that in place, we need an influence called director. So I'm going to click my entity tool, click anywhere on the map, double click the survive position, and write in info underscore director. Now this is the zombie spawn, this it's like the director of all the zombies. So quite basically, now we're gonna go back onto the button. Oh no, first we're gonna name the button. I always forget that for some reason. I'm gonna call it director. You can call it whatever you want, I don't know, your name, your dog, anything you want. So anyway, go to your button, double click the wall, or the button, sorry, and go to outputs. Now, you need to click add, then where you got my output named, you need to put on pressed. Which is, means when you press the button, something will happen, which goes down to target and title these name, which will change to director. Then we've got via this input, which will change to panic event. And make sure you click fire once only, so it only happens once. Once you've done that, you can click apply. Now that is basically the button installed. So now if you click that button again, you should get a horde of zombies chasing you. So I'm going to give this a test now. So I'm going to go to file, run map, OK. This will compile the map, and once finished compiling it, will run it. It was pretty quick because it's a small map. So, Left 4 Dead will then load up, as shown. I apologize for any bad graphics, as my computer can't handle it on high detail. So, as you can see, they've updated Left 4 Dead now, so they got a new tutorial thing, which looks pretty cool. And I've just realized that myself. <laughs> okay, so once the map is loaded, it will show our map. Any minute now. Right. So there we go. There is zombies on my game. So I'm going to kill all these zombies first before we click the button. Because we don't want it to make. We don't want the same zombies running after us. Right, so there we go. So if I click this button now, it says here they come. The noise has happened, and there we go, we have a horde chasing us. So this means we have successfully created a button. If you have any queries, please comment in the boxes below. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your mapping.